I didn't expect it would be this fun, but it's great. Hello, welcome everybody to another episode of Explore Škoda podcast. Today we have here this beautiful Škoda Enyaq for the year 2024. We are gonna test it in extreme conditions. We are fully charged, so let's go. So we are on the main road on a small, very steep and curvy road. So just for sure, I will put the traction mode on and well, now I can try if I can have a bit of fun in the Škoda Enyaq and uh, actually the traction and everything works very very good I bet you can't see it on the video right now but it's a very steep road and I have absolutely no problem when I put the gas down it goes for a very small drift and but I feel very safe there I would even take my family here and it's, whoa, it's it's really great. I'm, I'm really having fun actually, really. Absolutely no problem with the battery and with the range because it's still for a long time, even after a half of day of, uh, I would say, hard driving up and down to the hill. <laughs> I didn't expect it would be this fun, but it's great. And I feel very safe and I feel that I can really rely on the car. Absolutely no problem. Still going up, it's amazing. Now the traction stopped us a bit and if I try for example the sport mode or individual for a very sporty and full gas. Whoa. Okay, it puts you a little bit far in the drift I would say, but it's perfect, really perfect. I feel good, I feel safe. It actually goes really pretty easy up. Well, and we are here. I wouldn't expect that we would go that far, but we had not any troubles and here we are. Well, that was actually amazing. I really didn't expect it to have this fun and now I actually don't have a reason to don't take an EV to the Alps. So, Jirka, welcome and thank you for having time for me. Sure. And tell me, actually, why are we here today? Well, here in Austrian Alps, we are showcasing the, uh, the latest updates of the new model year for ENIAC. Uh, we are showcasing the updates to the media and journalists from all over the Europe. Well, and I tested the ENIAC for a whole day. The battery range or the range was very, very good. I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun, and I'm totally surprised about the model year for 2024. Mm -hmm. So please tell me, what are the main features and what are all the new good stuff? Because this car feels actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Well, so the main highlights of the new model year is are definitely uh, the first one that I would like to mention is the mm -hmm. new powertrain uh, on the rear axle. Uh, that is more effective, more powerful uh, and is delivered to the ENIAC variants with the 82 kilowatt batteries. Uh, then definitely the new software, uh, which contains also the very requested feature, I would say, uh, the battery preheating. Mm -hmm. And then of course with the new model year, it's the version Laurin and Clement, uh, the most luxurious version which we will offer mm -hmm. is coming with the new model year. Okay, please tell me a little bit about the battery preheating. Well, the battery preheating, uh, there are two options, uh, how to preheat the battery before mm. the uh, DC charging of the car. Uh, one, is, uh, one option is manual, uh, where basically the driver can start the preheating by himself. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, the second option is that based on the in-car uh, navigation, uh, when you are being navigated to the target that mm -hmm. you've chosen, uh, the battery will automatically start preheating itself based on the charging points uh, mm -hmm. that are picked basically by the by the navigation so system. So the car itself starts preheating in front of the electric station, let's yes. say. Yes, in front of Pretty the Pretty clever charging. actually. Huh. Yes. Okay, Erka, tell me please about the visuals, about the visual changes. Yeah, so basically the main visual changes uh, are connected with the Lauren and Clement version, which you mm. can see. Basically, the front and rear bumpers uh, has uh, special design features as well as the rear windows. And yeah, the side skirts of the of the car are basically colored in the color of the car. Mm -hmm. uh, that's regarding the Lauren and Clement version. And the general changes are dedicated to the performance version because nowadays we are labeling uh, the versions of ENIAC uh, 85 mm -hmm. for the uh, rear-wheel drive version and 85X for the all-wheel drive version mm -hmm. and uh, there is no more IV badging uh, okay. and there will in the future won't be no more IV badging for all the other upcoming EVs mm -hmm. of Škoda. Okay, I, I must admit the car looks amazing. I, I really, I actually don't like really red cars but this one it's Pretty good, and on the snow it's lovely. But tell me also about the interior. Are there some changes as well? Yes, definitely. Once again, I can mention the Lauren and Clement version, which mm. will be nowadays offered with uh, or in two design selections. One is called LNK Shell, that's the beige one. Uh, the second one is called LNK Black. Mm -hmm. And then there are a few uh, small differences in comparison with the previous model years in terms of the controlling uh, either on the wheels, wheeling steer or on the buttons below the main info and display. Jirka, as I said, I felt pretty good and safe in the car and the whole range and everything. Tell me, there must be some changes in the performance, right? Yes, definitely. The new electric drive on the uh, rear axle has uh, now the maximum total output of 210 kilowatts in mm -hmm. terms of the 85, but also for the 85X version. There's one difference with the most powerful version uh, and that's the RS version mm -hmm. where the maximum total output is 250 kilowatts. Okay, and uh, inside in the interior there is uh, the new software, yes, right? Could exactly. you show me it actually because that would be maybe the best in a car because we are starting the freeze really. <laughs> Definitely, the new uh, software uh, and the new infotainment uh, is much uh, smoother uh, for controlling, is much faster and uh, yeah from the UX and UI uh, point of view it's definitely improved. Another highlights of the new model year of our ENIAC is also new software version, uh, which you can recognize basically uh, based on the new infotainment, which is completely redesigned. The new HMI and UX UI system is built on the Škoda Flow design system. And yeah, it's basically much more smoother for operation, much more intuitive. You can control or set up basically quick options in terms of the vehicle settings or in terms of the applications, the favorite applications which you want to use. Of course, one of the most highlighted uh, upgrades that we are uh, mentioning is, for example, the preconditioning or preheating of the battery, which you can either start manually from this menu or you can basically, when you start the navigation, the in-car one, uh, the preheating of the battery mm -hmm. will start by itself. One of the new features of the new infotainment or the new software version is also upgraded Laura. So, okay Laura, I'm called. No problem, it will get warmer at the front right shortly. You can see that it's much more fluent uh, and basically on the right side of the navigation you can now see all the charging points uh, that you will mm -hmm. take during the way to the target. 
And yeah, as already mentioned, it much more, it's much more fluent nowadays. The navigation is, uh, the map is basically on the whole screen, so it's much more uh, easy to use it uh, and much more easy to being navigated by the in-car navigation. And within the new infotainment system, uh, you can see that there is already the new Škoda CI and CD principles applied, which is also applicable uh, on the driver's display or driver's cockpit display, but also on the, on the head-up display. Both of these displays received uh, also a visual upgrades. And I have to say that really, even if the seat heating on both sides, even if the heating for like higher level, uh, the range was still very good. Yeah. It's also important to mention that when you are going uh, to the DC charger, the optimum SOC respectively status of uh, charge should be approximately around 10%. By that, uh, you are getting you know the best possible performance on the charger, mm -hmm. which also implicates for the for the preheating of the battery. Right now, you can see we are preheating, but. If we would be around 10%, the, the flow of the heating, the battery would be much quicker and yeah. Here kind of almost forgot, uh, what about the charging? How long does it take to charge the new 2024 ENIAC? Yeah, actually the both performance version, either the 85 or the 85X uh, now allows uh, the fast charging, which can be uh, done from 10 to 80 uh, percent within just 30 minutes. Well, that's actually pretty good. That's that's a very good number, actually. And really, after a whole day of testing, I would I would recommend to everyone to take an EV in a, in the Alps. And the good thing is that we still got a, like 40 percent of battery, so we can go out of here, actually. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Thank you. It was pretty nice. Thank you very much. Mm. Well, and this is the end. Thank you for watching. You have seen it yourself that the new Škoda ENIAC doesn't have any problem, even in very hard conditions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ask us questions and see you next time. <laughs>